Hello traders, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good. I wish you all happy holidays. Wish you greater opportunities and a wonderful day. Okay, so uh, since this week I've been very busy, I've been so occupied, I've not been able to upload any video. I've been preparing the mentorship notes. I've been preparing so well for the mentorship program. So that is really taking my time. I've not been able to trade. I've not been able to, you know, create some content. But I think I should make a video today because I have some time out. Okay, so you can see basically that the market is not in a good condition to trade. You can see dodgy candlestick, long maribuzu maribuzu candles bad candles this is a bad market these are not a good condition to trade and you can see okay even on this one you can see here dodgy dodgy bad movements so basically the market is not in a good condition for you to trade today and you can see the the return is about 76 percent and i wouldn't advise anybody to trade anything less than 80 percent i don't trade any pair less than 80 percent so basically this is not a good uh time to trade so you might be wondering why is the market not good to trade today and what is happening yes the cause it's that there is a holiday the banks are in holidays and this is a and this is a holiday period this is easter season some people are celebrating Easter and all that. So there is a bank holiday and so many things are on break. So that is why the market is not really moving fine. You can see here Swiss bank holiday, Europe, German bank holiday, GBP, England bank holiday, Canada bank holiday and in US dollar we have about three high impact news so basically the market is not actually good to trade today and i posted this to the telegram community i posted it on my group and some people some few guys were asking me privately they came to my dm and they asked me so which pair is good to trade i told them the market is not good to trade and they still came and asked me which pair is good to trade so that question got me thinking like why why would someone be asking such a question is it that you must trade every day so i think it's high time i clear some of you that are having such um such an issue because it's not actually good to trade every day and some of you don't understand this you think every day you must uh make profit or you must trade no 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 the market does not work like that so what i do is that every day before i start trading i come to this website forestfactory.com you can see it. forestfactory.com i come to this website to check and see the calendar for the day i tend to check if there is any news if there is any event that will tell me if i'm going to trade at that time or i'm going to wait for the next um hours or few hours to trade so if you don't know this make sure you come here every day before you go into the market and check if there is any news but apart from coming to the website there's something you need to do you need to come to the settings you can see here the time here is about 12 52 p.m this is my current time so you click on this time and uh, make sure you set the time zone to your own current time zone or your country region time zone i don't know anyone you're using you set it to your own gmt you look for your country or your region and set it this is my own when you change the settings and you click save settings once you do that you're going to set it to your own location okay so it's going to be working with your own location now you can see the time has changed to 1 
10 that's the current time in my own location right so that's it perfect so once you do that you click here you click on this button the home tab and then you come back here and see the news for the day and you look at the events for the day so you can see now that the time has changed this is about 1.30 we have serious news on UX dollar this is a high impact news now let me explain to you the difference between high impact news um, medium impact news and uh, low impact news so on this website there are different symbols for differentiating the news so if you observe closely this one is red this one it's yellow and this one it's orange color so what this means is that this one is a medium impact news this one is a high impact news and this one is a low impact news okay so what this means is that this one it's a no-go area once you see red at that time you don't trade the market is going to be in a very high volatility and there are some there are going to be so many crazy moves in the market and this one medium impact you can manage this one you can trade with caution but i won't advise but this one low impact news even though you have a news with a low impact you can actually trade during that time the market might just make little movement okay so but these two basically i want to advise you to trade so you can see this is yesterday's calendar and today's calendar this one is not telling you any news but it's telling you a holiday okay this gray color is telling you holidays it's not a good time to trade this one in the next 20 minutes you should have high impact news on ux dollar is a new month so so many things are getting to start up again they are bringing out some reports for the last month so this is why the market is not actually good to trade so i find out that one of the major things that cause traders to want to trade every day is because of their past experience or their losses so i would like to educate you a little because this can really affect so many traders now the truth is that most people that think of trading every day is because of their losses yes that's the major thing that affect traders they want to get back their losses they want to get back their losses and i'm here to tell you that if you keep on chasing your losses your losses will keep on running away from you stop chasing your losses because they will keep on running away from you it's the same thing in life in business in relationship if you keep on chasing people those people will tend to give you space they will keep on running away from you but if you become a person of value okay you become a person of value those people will be attracted to you that's how it works so what i'm trying to say is that you don't solve a problem with the same level of knowledge you use in creating that problem the same amount of knowledge you have that made you to lose money is not the same amount of knowledge that will help you to get back that money are you following okay if you're following make sure you drop a comment so you have to become a person of value becoming a person of value simply means going for a higher knowledge going for a higher knowledge learning something new that is going to help you to get back the losses not really chasing the losses but it's going to help you to trade more better and more confidently and that way you're going to trade well so this is what i advise traders to do okay don't trade any pair that is less than 80 percent i don't trade any asset class that is less than 80 percent and try to have some pet pairs i'm giving you a bonus now my own pet pair is usd card edo usd gbp jpy and edo gbp these are the four pairs i use basically these two are for one minute predictions and these two are for expiry time i've mastered these pairs and they are working perfectly for me this is not 
a financial advice please this is not a financial advice you can actually find other pairs that are good for you but i'm just giving you an example for mine okay so you must not trade every day any day you see there is a news you stay out of the market this will help you to reduce uh some bad days and some unnecessary losses okay so becoming a person of value go for good knowledge learn more before you can actually tend to recover your lost um, funds or money okay so that is guys that is why it's not advisable to trade today you can see no good movement up to this time these are no good movements even if you tend to make little money you might end up losing them okay so i won't advise anyone to trade today okay so i'm going to go over to the next section of the thing i want to bring to your notice it's how to verify your your card okay how to verify your card some of you might have been using IQ option maybe you deposited with IQ option you deposited with your mastercard and you've been getting some uh, request to verify the card here is how you verify your card this is a post from IQ option blog the official blog site I've done this before and this is how I verified my card you cover some part of the card number you cover it up take a screenshot or sorry you can take a photo of it or you scan it in your computer and you cover this part the CVV you make sure you cover this part you can use a paper to do that or you can obscure them when you when you make you scan the, the card and you make sure you sign here with a pen or a marker if you check at the back of your card you're going to see that part you make sure you sign and then you make sure you snap and keep these two cards both the back and the front you can come to this IQ option blog site and you can see this video on how they did that it's going to help you to know how to verify your card someone asked me someone asked me of this yesterday so i had to bring it up to your notice if you have not verified your card you can't able to you 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 can't be able to withdraw your profit okay so you make sure you verify your card before you can actually withdraw your profit and that's where most of this problem comes from some of you that uh have been having withdrawal issue majorly is because you're having some issues on your own side i don't see why IQ option will not give you your profit after trading you just have to follow their terms and condition and you're going to get back your profit okay let me show you a little story through life story what happened between me and my friend the guy that introduced me to this platform he deposited some money into his account with a card and during trading he was trading making money making losses but at the time he made more profit okay so IQ option told him to verify the card the card he used in depositing the money into the account he has not verified it so by the time they told him to verify that card the card has expired now take note this is very important the card has expired so this my friend has threw away the card he has done away with the card okay so he couldn't verify that card because he doesn't have the card anymore he's not using it anymore so but IQ option insisted that he make sure he verified the card and this guy had about $200 profit in the account and you see he couldn't verify the card and he had to close the account lost all the money and he got so angry and frustrated and since then he called IQ option a scam okay which is not totally true right me on the other end when I deposited 
and I made more profits and they told me to verify my card. I follow the due process. Let me show you. Okay, yeah, look at it. These are some of the I verified my account with my bank statement and the card. Look at it. So that was what I did and I verified my card and I withdrew my profit. Now to me, IQ option is good. But to my friend, IQ option is a scam. So that's why people online tend to carry fake news about this broker. Let me tell you, IQ option has been in this business for seven years plus. If I'm not mistaken, they have been in this business for seven years. You can check it, you can do your research. I stand to be corrected. So anyone telling you that IQ option is a scam, they don't give people profit, they are actually not telling you the truth. So they might have gone beyond the IQ option policies. I have taught people that withdraw $3,000 from IQ option every day. Like, I mean, every single day, these guys withdraws $3,000 from IQ option. Real account, real. Okay, so I have seen people that made a lot of money in this business. So no one should deceive you that... Um, IQ option is not good, but I would advise if you can't verify the card, use Skrill Wallet. Okay, use Skrill Wallet to do your depositing and withdrawal. I think that's the best, and that's what I use. You have to verify your Skrill account too. Make sure your Skrill account is verified. It's not hard. You can verify that using your mobile phone. You can verify that using your mobile phone. I think this is the best. Once you verify your Skrill account, if possible, make sure the, the email on your Skrill account and your IQ option account is the same. If possible, if you can do that, I think you'll be in a better position because these brokers can be very, very funny. They would like you to make sure all your details, all your credentials are the same. I'm telling you, if possible, make sure they are the same for you to use that platform okay so that's it guys learn to check the news check the market and know what is happening in the market learn to take a break okay it's not every time you want to get back your losses if you if you lost some money take a break okay you must not trade the next day trying to chase your losses and that's one of the circle of a trader i'm going to teach that in the mentorship program the cycle of a trader that's what makes you to lose money so learn to take a break make sure all your credentials and your accounts are verified and you never have any issue okay i hope you found this video insightful do well to drop a comment if you have any question make sure you ask me Drop a comment, hit the like button, and at the end, make sure you subscribe. Till next time, I wish you all good luck, good trading, happy holidays, peace out.